الحمد لله ثم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا All praises be to Allah the beneficent the nourisher the sustainer the king of all kings of age of judgment the evolver the shaper Thereafter we thank Almighty Allah once again and we do salat, we praise salat for our Prophet, beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and then his sahabas, all the companions and to all the Muslims around the world. My name is Omar Ahmed. This is our second episode of the day. The first episode we try to make some kind of introduction to Kotokuni Tim. Today, we're going to make a little deep meaning. We're going to get a little deep meaning of Kotokuni language. The Kotokuni language is Tim. The name of Kotokuni language is what? Is Tim. According to the oral history of the Kotokuni, which is the Timba, when we say timber, that means the Kotokolis. The timber migrated from the current Burkina Faso between 1600 and then 1700 and settled in the area where today there is a city of Sokode. You see, Sokode is a city in Togo. Late, they were contaminated with the Gurusis from Burkina Faso and then Ghana with the Kabir from Togo. Kotokoli Tim. The word Kotokoli Tim is a popular name for tribes. It's a popular name for tribes called Tim. Tim from parts, from parts. I mean, them form part of a group of tribe put under their guru ethnic group of West Africa found in present Ghana, Togo, Burkina Faso, and Benin. The language Kotokoli them I believe to have migrated from around the present day Chad and settled in Sokode and Bafilo in Togo. and public of Benin, where some of the, them further migrated to Kwe Kotokoli in the Volta North of Ghana, with the administration capital at Nkwanta, in the Nkwanta South District of the Volta region, which is now Oti region. Exactly 60 years ago, 1956 to 2016, Kotokolis in then Britain Togo land were among some ethnic groups such as Ewes, Akans, Mamprusis, Dagombas, Nanumbas, Bimobus, Bokombas, Chokosis, Kusasis, Basaris, Busangas, Akebus, Adele, Guems, Adjodes, Gunjas of Saraga, and then Guans, among others, in the present Volta region of Ghana. Went to the post to decide. These people I named, they all went to the post to decide Gold Coast, now Ghana. Now, this is the little history of Kotokoli Tim, about the Tim. The word Tim is the name for the tribe Kotokoli, but the reason why it became Kotokoli, that is what I'm coming to explain now. They got the word Kotokoli because in those days, they do some trading with people from Niger, Niger, which the English call Niger. 
these people commonly speak language called Hausa. So they form that name Kotokoli because they were trading together. So they call our people Kotokolis. But Sokode is the second largest city in the Republic of Togo, which is owned by these Kotokolis. This Kotokolis, the name Sokode was brothelized, but the name itself in the Thame language is what? Is Sonkode. Why did they call this Sonkode? They call this Sonkode because in all these days, these people of Kotokoli, this town or this small village called Sonkode, but now the second largest city in Togo, like this meat, anywhere around, anywhere you go around, you see them roasting meat, frying meat. So when these people from Niger come to Togo, this particular village where they can find, where or where they normally find this meat, fried meat, uh, roasted meat, and then some something like that. They call people Sonkode, 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 which means that people who love meat, the people who love meat or who likes meat too much, so they like meat. Anytime they feel like taking meat, so the name became Sonkode. Now, these Kotokoli people here have a religious background. But what is the religious background of this Kotokoli? The religious background of this Kotokoli is Islam. That is the main religious background of this Kotokoli people. Kotokoli embrace Islam as far as 16th century with many Islamic scholars. Some include our late father, uncle, grandfather, great father, and our great great grandfather, Sheikh Professor Sheikh Al Haji Abdullah Gumda of Yendi. <coughs> the then Togo line section of the Gumba district. The late Sheikh Abdul Nasser, who established Siddiq School Complex and a vocational center at Aguna Nyakrum. And for deputy, he was the national deputy chief imam of Ahl Sunnah or Jama Muslim section, among others. May dear souls rest in perfect peace. As I said earlier on, I said these Kotokoli people migrated to where? Togo Sonkode from the Burkina Faso. But in further research on the history, or but orally, some people said the real migration origin or the migration route of these Kotokoli people from the originated town is what? It's Mali. But some say it's Burkina Faso. But the details or the further research on this history. Some people said it was from Mali before they came to, to, to settle in Burkina Faso. It's all the same. I said, from there, some people further migrated to Ghana here in a district called Nkwanta South, which they crossed a river. And now that river was named River Kwe. Now, the Kwe town, it is the official town for Kotokolis in Ghana here. Then British Togoland, but now part of Ghana, and that is the official legally, legitimately for Kotokolis in Ghana here. But this Kotokolis, now you can find Kotokoli all over Ghana. You go to Kumasi, we have Kotokoli Association over there. You go to Accra, we have Kotokoli Association over there. You go to Eastern Region, we have Kotokoli Association over there. But the name Koi, or the town Koi, is the official town for all the Kotokolis. And when they say Koi, do you understand? In Kotokoli, when they say Koi, it means that kill him, kill him, kill him. But that history will be for another day. How came, how can it became kill him? What happened before they said kill him? That history 
will be for another day. So currently, when you go to Kwe, there's a river named after the town, River Kwe, and that is the border for Togo and Ghana. When you are from Togo, you cross the river, then you are in Ghana. When you are going, you are from Ghana, you go to Togo, you cross the river, there you are in Togo. So these Kotokoli people have some particular culture, and the culture is very educative and interesting. This culture, what happened to this culture? But before we go that, let's go to the population of these Kotokoli people. It's very wonderful and educative. There is reported to be about 417,000 of Kotokoli with 339,000 in Togo, 60,000 in Ghana, and 18,000 in Beni. They speak the Kotokoli language, which is called Tim. History, this history is edited. ISBN 2723609555. I said ISBN 2723609553. Now let's go to the culture of this Kotokoli. Kotokoli culture, the main Kotokoli culture here is Gadao Adosa Koso. Gadao Adosa Koso. Three things came together to form this Gadao, the first one, Adosa, the second one, and then Koso, the second, uh, the third one. The Gadao. Adosa Koso is one of the what? One of the main Kotokoli festival consists of three days festivities from Friday to Sunday. The Friday will start from that Gadao. I said Gadao Adosa Koso. It's three things Gadao Adosa Koso. So Gadao is done on Friday. What happened there? All the people of Kotokoli dress in their cultural dresses come out there to thank their ancestors. Uh, <clears> or <throat> the abundant harvest. And the second day, which is Saturday, the Adosa. That was very educative, but still in existence. The Adosa, what happened there? In those days, the Kotokoli people, which is the team, have some brave men who are always at the war front. They are very brave. Sometimes when you cut last them, the cutlass doesn't go into the flesh, but it bounces back. These people are called the Semase, the warriors of Semase, the great warriors Semase. So, in this day, which is Saturday, they bring out knives, swords, and then they try to cutlass each other. But by the, before that, they will prepare with all the needed cutra protection before they go out. So, you see, one cuts the fellow, but no blood. Which is to mark the braveness of their grand, their great great grandfathers. Then, now let's move to Koso. This Koso is by is done by women only. The women who dress in their cultural dresses come out to dance to show thanksgiving for all what they have done. And there you see horse riders, Kotokoli horse riders, riding at a top speed, taking some skulls showing their brave, showing how happy they are for this celebration. I hope this program is very educative and it is very interesting. Yes, it will always be interesting. But before you see us more, before you get more updates, you have to subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to this channel. Share this channel. And always, we we'll keep you up updated all the time. My name is Tosa Stern. It's Ibrahim Omar Mohammed. It's my name. Keep on watching for more updates. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Bye bye.